Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar. Uh, welcome to the uh, Barton Marine attending the virtual RYA dinghy show. So um, yeah, welcome to the booth. Ha have a good look around and uh, we've got lots of dinghy items for you to uh, enjoy, lots of video, lots of uh, fact sheets and uh, yeah, take a tour, have a look around. Um, there's a Q&A box at the bottom of your screen and you're welcome to put any questions forward as we go through our webinar with Harry. Um, yeah, so um, we held a, a competition at last year's Dinghy Show to find our new rising star. We're, we're looking for young talent to nurture and help them on their way with, uh, with their sailing ambitions. And it was, a, it was a difficult decision and we'd like to thank everybody who entered. Um, and our choice was was Harry, Harry Newton. We're going to be chatting to him. Um, he won our uh, Rising Star competition. And part of that is uh, we mentor him. We're going to help him with his sailing ambition. Um, he's going to help us with R&D. So working on new new products. And we're, we're now officially legal with the laser class for our equipment. So Harry will help develop further our uh, great products. We're going to give him a GoPro and get some good footage of him sailing on the water. He's quite used to that. And uh, he's got some nice sailing kit from Rooster, all branded up. So uh, he's going to look really cool. <laughs> so welcome, Harry. Can we hear you? You might have to press your mute, mute button. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Webinars, eh? <laughs> yeah, welcome, Harry. Good to see you. Thank you. So I'm going to start off. Um, you know, when, when and where did you start sailing? I started sailing at Hampton when I was nine years old, which was about 10 years ago. So, yeah. OK. And what, what boat did you start sailing on? I started sailing in a topper because that's the only boat I knew that there was around. Yeah, and that's, that's a good way to start. That's where a lot of youngsters start, isn't that? Yeah. And where do you sail now? I now sail at Whitstable Yacht Club. Has that got a good good fleet of boats there? Is what, what do you sail there? I now sail a laser down there. There's a much more bigger fleet down there, so that's why I moved to Whitstable. And there's much more competitors down there as well. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good fleet, isn't it? I mean, they get about 20 or 30 boats out, so you're always guaranteed a good race. Yeah. Yeah, good. And Harry, did you attend any sailing courses? Did you go through the r -way route learning to sail? I never did any courses. I only did zone squads. So you went straight in at the top then, Harry? Yeah. I never <laughs> knew about the courses until I was about 14 years old, and then... About then, I thought it was a little bit too late, so I just went straight into zone squads. Yeah, and you, you're obviously very successful in it. Yeah. <laughs> well done, well done. And right, so you're racing um, a, a laser now. So how was the transition from a topper to a laser? How did you find that? I found it okay, except from you just had to relearn everything because it's a much more harder fleet because you have like all the pro sailors in there from like Olympics classes. So you have to kind of relearn how to sail through it, but the tactics stay the same pretty much. Okay. And what did you start with? The 4.7 rig, the small rig? Yeah, I started with the 4.7 rig for about two months and then I grew out of it and then I went up into a radial. Okay, because you're, you're quite tall, aren't you, Harry? Yeah, I'm 6'4". Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, a great height for a laser if you can keep the weight under control, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. And do you get involved with squad training? Yeah. So in 2014, I went into zone squads for Topper. And then after that, I went into the international squad for Toppers as well. Yeah. Have you done the laser squad yet? Not yet. I was planning to do it last year, except from the pandemic happened. So unfortunately, couldn't do any squads. Yeah, it was a sh real shame last year. It, um, well, it ruined everything. It ruined us appointing a rising staff because there wasn't a lot of sailing going on. But you managed to do some sailing last year, didn't you? 
Yeah, I managed to train for a bit of, and I did a couple of nationals as well. And how were your results in that? Um, some of them were pretty good at the week-long nationals that ended up as a three-day event. Um, on the last day, I got a third and a first in that, which I was pretty proud of. You won a race, Harry. That's pre yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> That's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, well done. Um, what have you been doing this winter? Have you been training, racing? Um, when, when we could, that is, before Christmas, yeah. I guess. I've just been racing before we went back into lockdown. So at the moment, I'm just weight training and keeping my fitness up before, yeah. before yeah. we get back out on the water. Yes, you've got a pretty impressive uh, video on our site. That, um, Harry, Harry and his training. Now you told me you're doing this like six days a week. Yeah, I train six days a week, and then I have one rest day on Friday. Yeah, well, that that takes some determination, and uh, well, it certainly helps sail a laser, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you are talented. I've seen you race. I'm very impressive. But you know, tell us, you know, what's it done for your confidence and for the, your outlook on life, having sailing as a sport? When I was quite young, I wasn't really comf um, confident. And then when I did sailing, it made me more and more confident throughout the years, which I really appreciate it as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and what tips would you give to a, a, a youngster or, or anyone, actually, who wants to get into sailing what what how would they go about that i would just go to your nearest sailing club and i'd probably drag a friend with you and just hire a boat out for a day and have some fun you don't even need to do some racing just sail around have some fun with friends yeah the, yeah i see that organized at whitstable they just get kids out in the water and they they just have fun they get around a yeah. course yeah it's the best way to to try it isn't it and is, is it do you do you do you think it's an expensive sport? At the beginning, it's not really expensive, but when you get into like racing and you want to take it to the next level, it can get quite expensive to get a new kit every year. Like sales. Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, yeah, sailing one design, uh, yeah, the, the, the sales, they're okay for a while, aren't they? But you, you do need like two or three mainsails a year, I guess, for a laser, do you? Yeah, I try and keep one nice sail for the national events that I go to, and then I just use my art of sails for training. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And have you had a have you had a look round the show? Yeah, I have. It's quite a good few um, people out there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed the Mark Russell talk. So well done, Mark. That was that was good fun on the rules. <laughs> And oh, we can't wait to get out sailing, can we? So um, I've, I've got a question here from Dan. I mean, he's asking, what sailing gear do you need to get started? I just get a wetsuit and a buoyancy aid. That's all you really need to first start off sailing. Not even a wetsuit, just a buoyancy aid. Just a buoyancy aid, okay. But um, tell us about the kit that you wear, though, to, to be comfortable on a laser. On a laser, I have um, my buoyancy aid, of course, and then I have um, a topless wetsuit, and then I have some hikers. And then during the winter, I have loads of warm layers as well to put on, like spray okay. top thermal layers. Okay. And explain what hikers are. So hikers are a pad that um, extend like the edge of your deck, so it kind of spreads the load in your legs so it doesn't hurt as much you can hike a little bit longer okay so these are like sort of ribs are they on the back of your legs yeah yeah is that is that legal yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah any, uh, yeah I raise, I raise a laser and it's, it can be pretty painful can't it if you haven't got that bit of support i find so uh, that's great and what what plans have you got for this year harry all, all being well for racing and getting out there so as sailing comes back, I'm just going to apply for all the nationals that come up. And then next year, I'll probably do a Worlds as well. Yeah. Because you've got big ambitions, haven't you, Harry? You, yeah, you want to be get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I mean, uh, are you driving yet? Are you able to get yourself to events? or? No, I'm not driving. I still got my mum 
to take her around to events. Good old taxi mum. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to all the mums out there. <laughs> that's how we that's how we get started, isn't it? That's how we get to our events through our mums. That's great. It's great. Okay, any more any more? Oh, oh, some questions here. Another one from uh, Tony. Um, how often do you capsize and is it frightening? Um, I don't normally capsize during racing, but when I'm training, I normally push myself to the limits and sometimes I end up capsizing. Yeah. And how, how easy is it to get the laser up? It's pretty quick um, if you do it quite a few times, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And then uh, West Beer Lake, of course, you've got the added bonus of sticking your mast in the mud, haven't you? <laughs> if you tip it in there. <laughs> yeah, not pleasant. So, uh, yeah, it's, so Harry's not frightened. There you go. <laughs> and we've got a, another one here. No, it's gone away. Um, right, so um, Harry, um, we've got some nice kit for you from Rooster, and uh, we're getting it all logoed up for you. We've got a GoPro for you, so we we hope you we can get some good footage from you. And uh, you're you're quite an old hand at that because you've got your you've got your own uh, channel, haven't you, Sailor Harry? Yes, I do. Yeah. So if you want to hop onto Sailor Harry on YouTube, it's, Harry gives tips on. Uh, sailing the boat and uh, getting the best out of roll tacking and jibing and it's, uh, it's good to watch and we hope to get some of that content on our site as well so Thanks. good job Harry good job and uh, so another one from James he's saying when do you think you'll transition to the standard rig oh I'd probably maybe next year depends how much weight I gain I guess so, yeah. what's what's the optimum weight for a, a, a standard sail compared to the radial for the standard i think it's between 80 to 90 kilos and you're at what now I'm at, um 74 kilos yeah that's a bit light isn't it for breezes on yeah yeah so and i've got another one here from alistair so in the run into the start of racing are you changing your fitness routine from what you do in the winter yeah so during the summer i don't work out as i don't really do much weight based i normally just practice on cardio and stuff like that and then during the winter i uh, train more on weights and stuff like that okay okay so there you go there you go alistair that's uh, that's Top tip from an ex our expert. <laughs> Good. Any more questions from the floor? Um, yeah, I think that's that's it, Harry. We've we've, we've uh, pretty much covered everything, and uh, well, we're looking forward to working with you and uh, helping you along the way, and uh, wish you all the best for this season. Catch Thank up soon. Thank you.